Another fire burned overnight in the ballpark neighborhood in Salt Lake City. Now we shared some images of this fire last night right here on Fox 13 News at 9. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with residents and neighborhood officials about what they would like to see done to combat this program, this problem there. And he joins us live from where that fire took place on Major Street. Chris, good evening. Well, good evening, Amy and Brian. Yeah, that latest fire happening at this home here behind me. Now, the Ballpark Community Council chair tells me this is the third time that a fire has happened at this particular vacant house in just a two week span. Now, the Ballpark Community Council met just a few days ago to talk about solutions to this problem, and they're hoping those can be put in motion sooner rather than later. I feel incredibly unsafe. Brian Whaley has lived in the ballpark neighborhood for the past 10 years. It's just a, another night. Whaley's referring to these vacant homes along Major Street that have caught fire five times since the end of November. The latest happening Saturday night. If it had been windy last night, we could have had uh, additional problems of additional structures um, catching on fire from this one. It feels lawless. Amy J. Hawkins, the ballpark community council chair, says these homes only represent a danger to their neighborhood and everybody who comes through there. We have a problem that needs a real solution, and the solution can't be these homes just going up in flames. Thursday night, Hawkins says nearly 60 people, including officials with civil enforcement, Salt Lake City Police, and the Salt Lake City Fire Department participated in the Ballpark Community Council's final meeting of the year, brainstorming solutions to this problem. That third fire, um, our best investigation is telling us that from video and some other things, that that was probably actually a rekindle. Our best guess is we have two set fires. Salt Lake City Fire Prevention Division Chief Tony Allred said on Thursday they've coordinated with police on increased surveillance assets in the neighborhood, checking in regularly and continuing to monitor that area. Detective Sam Fallows, a community liaison officer with Salt Lake City Police, suggested building a nuisance enforcement case against the owners of the vacant homes that have continually gone up in flames. The police department will bring a nuisance case against a business or a property owner for any property that is that is consistently and abundantly causing issues within a neighborhood. Detective Fallows asked residents to draft letters for that nuisance case, talking about their experience in relation to crime or the safety of those properties. Hawkins and residents like Whaley hope this can ultimately lead to the demolition of these vacant homes along Major Street. They are only a hazard. Take these homes down now. They shouldn't be here any longer. It's clearly a, a public hazard. Well, Hawkins tells me that Roja Brewing is offered to host a night where community members in this neighborhood can come and help write letters in hopes of building that case and getting something done here to prevent more incidents like this from happening. Now, I did speak with Salt Lake City Fire Department earlier this evening, and they tell me that the cause of this latest fire is still under investigation. For now, live in the ballpark neighborhood, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.